Hello Capricorn, welcome back. All right, so today we're gonna to take a peek into who's coming towards you in love and see what we get. This could be anybody, someone you're already dealing with, a new person, someone who has their eye on you. We don't, we don't know, but keep in mind it is a general reading, okay? So take what resonates. I read how I read, and if you would like to book a personal reading with me, the link to my website is in the description box below. <clears throat> okay. So, in the pre-shuffle, you might be a little bit conflicted of, of the heart. Feels like there's a secret there, Capricorn. I was hearing... Um, dissatisfied but not moving on. For some of you this could be intimately dissatisfied. I was getting a lot of emphasis on like sexual stuff for some reason. I don't know if that is going to be relevant to you or that's a talk that you'll be having or something along these lines but I'm getting like um, I don't know if, if, the, if the sex life is going so well right now. Even if you're in a connection, there could be a little bit of like a dry spell or something. Some of you may have been in a connection where you were like trying to seek counsel. I feel like one person worries more about this connection than the other. But I feel like you're in two minds about something. And you know what's interesting? I, I'm I feel like there's a secret that you have or that uh, like may come about. I feel like, I mean, again, whatever resonates, but it almost seems to me like this secret desire, this sneaking off to have some sort of pleasure, it feels like. I don't know what type of this, I guess this could vary for those of you that again are not sexually active and I don't mean to keep talking about this but there's something about like I don't know there's a secret you might be secretly sexually attracted to somebody and um and it's someone else than who you're with or some or this apply I don't I don't know but I'm getting sexual secrets or at least one And maybe this is just something from your past that you think about that you haven't shared. Again, it's gonna be different for all of you, but I'm getting like a secret desire that you wouldn't reveal to another person, especially if you're in a connection. You might be conflicted about what your heart wants as well. So I'm seeing you in two minds I was also feeling that your person or whoever's on your mind could be mourning something. They could be mourning the loss of something. So I don't know. You know, it just feels like somebody's in a car going somewhere and it's a secret. But it's such a wonderful experience. It would be an experience with a kindred spirit, somebody you're very connected to. You fit well with this person. They could be coming up in your future if you don't know. And again, in whatever comfort this is, but I definitely, I don't know, Kevin. Are you thinking about this? All right, overall energy, please, for Capricorn in love. Yeah, it's almost like there's like a person that's sort of newer in your life that you think about. I don't know, but I don't know why, but I... Four of Wands. But then, but then, I don't think this, this is this person. Thank you. 
Some of you could be focusing on your home life or have a lot of family duties. See, that's what I'm saying. It's like there's a duality to your reading. There's this what's going on, but then there's what you're thinking about as well. You could be buying a home or focusing on homes or something like this. So you have this like desire or or someone <laughs> or, or something, you know, but this is a love reading. So it's, okay, uh, one more card for the overall energy. Crown chakra. I feel like you're, there's going to be some understanding in regards to um, a, a connection. Feels like an overall general peace, I would say, in the home for you right now. So that's good. But yeah, that's what I'm mostly getting, like an understanding about a connection. Being very clear. Clear about a duty or clear of something that you need to do. It's like you might have impulsive spurts, but your your energy is you know where your duty is, you know where if that makes sense. Alright, who's coming towards Capricorn in love, please? Who's coming towards Capricorn in love, please? And how will they recognize them? Okay, that's way too many cards. But I feel like this individual is somehow, they're out. They can be seen socially, whether that means they like to socialize or they're just out often for their job. Because I, I feel like you can go and publicly see this person or, you know, they're accessible to the public in some sort of way. Um, who's coming towards Capricorn in love, please? They could have, I feel like this person has pretty traditional views. They could be kind of conservative. Hair font, strength. They, they resist their urges a lot as well. They're down to business. This person, you know, someone here may work in a hospital or, um, Okay, well, that's really what I was getting. I was going to say something about church, but I feel like they have um, spiritual beliefs, you know, or their family goes to church. They grew up in like kind of that type of environment. They have a traditional view of relationships, king of wands. They could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius does not have to be, um, Catholic as well as what I'm hearing. Catholic. A little bit of a tempered individual as well, like a little temper. Uh, who is this person coming towards Capricorn in love? That's too many. I can't have 15 cards. Take me all day. Capricorn in love. Nine of Cups. They like to drink as well. Or they just like to, you know, please themselves. They like to have enjoyable experiences. They might be making a change in regards to their life, um, especially in regards to career. If, if they, they're going after a passion. What they do might be slow to build money, but they do it because they love it. They do it because it fulfills them. Some of you, they could like to cook as well. I'm getting that. But yeah, they're going through a change in their life. And they could be moving on from a past connection that's made their heart very guarded.
All right. What do they want to say to Capricorn? What do they want to say to Capricorn? It's interesting because a lot of the readings have had kind of a positive energy. People might be feeling a little bit more. We might go into a, a few weeks of lovey vibes or, or something along these lines. I am. I'm getting... A lot of wanting, wanting energy, <laughs> especially in your reading. <laughs> but you know, these connections, so, all right. Somebody could be worried about family here. What their family expects them to do. What does this person want to say to Capricorn? That they're confused, that they're emotionally confused. They have a sense of duty in their life. They might be a father, a single father, a single parent or something. Uh, the Emperor, the Knight of Cups, um, but Seven of Cups here. They're emotionally confused about something. They may actually have a few lovers or have recently, but I don't, I don't feel as if, um, I don't get a bad energy from this person. They just do what they want. They want what they want, you know? They're driven by passion. But they're kind of closed off. It's hard to get real close to them, you know? That's like, because of their emotional confusion. Could have something to do again with someone from their past um, that like slipped away or like a, a parent. All right, so how will Capricorn feel about this person? You might sense a darkness to this individual. feel as if you feel like this person puts a lot of work into their family it's like their family is probably their world they most likely have children or pets or something that they're very much they spend a lot of time with this person cares about that and you're very aware Yeah. Yeah, this they work a lot almost every day. I see I don't know, I see you wanting to give them an opportunity to I don't know. Again, I keep going to these places with you. <laughs> How does Capricorn feel? I think you're very sexually interested in this person, especially if you drink around them or when you see them. There, there could be like drinking involved or something along these lines. It feels very feel goody, you know. <laughs> I don't know. If that makes any sense? Maybe not. Oh well. One more card for how Capricorn feels. King of Cups, they could be a water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. They're emotionally healing. Again, they lost something. But I think you're interested in this individual, especially, you know, like a physical attraction but there, you know, there's more there as well. Kind of, you could care about their well-being, stuff like that. So, all right. Well, that's what I have for you, Capricorn. Bye-bye.